Good day everyone. Welcome to Teacher Julie channel. Hello everyone. We have our new topic in MAPE, which is all about you stress and distress. So this will be the topic for health for the third quarter and module number three. For the objectives, we will focus our learning objectives with the following. First is to differentiate you stress from distress and identify the situation that cause feelings of anxiety or stress. And the last one is to realize the importance of knowing the difference between you stress and distress. Before we proceed to our proper discussion, so let us try this activity first. For the instruction, so you are going to put smiley face if the situation shows you stress and sad face if the situation shows stress. So write your answer before. Stress is not always a bad thing. Stress is subjective, so something that is stressful for you may not be stressful for someone else. Stress can motivate us to change habits, move us closer to our chosen dreams and aspirations. If we felt no stress, we would not be compiled to act in ways that bring about conscious and meaningful life. So here are the difference between you stress and distress. For the you stress, you feel positive, energized, generally short term, can improve performance and believe within coping mechanism or something we can handle. For the distress, generally feels unpleasant, often depletes energy, short term or long term. It decreases overall performance, it perceives outside coping mechanism, and the last one can lead to physical illness and mental fatigue, emotional depression. 
The following are the examples of negative personal stressors. The negative personal stressors or the distress, it describes the negative kind of stress that most people associate with the feeling of stressed out. When something distressed you, it can lead to feelings of hopelessness about the situation. So here are the following. Since you already know what are the positive and the negative personal stressors, so now let us try this activity. So for the instruction, all you have to do is to differentiate the difference between the distress and the eustress based from your understanding. Let us remember that stress is not always a bad thing. Stress is defined as the physiological, physical, and emotional responses to a significant change or disruption in one's life. The next one is used stress refers to a positive and healthy response of the body from a stressor while distress refers to a negative reaction of the body towards a given stressor. Characteristics of used stress are positive energies, generally short term, can improve performance, believe within coping mechanism or 
something we can handle. Characteristics of distress are generally feels unpleasant, often depletes energy, short term or long term, it decreases overall performance, it perceives outside coping mechanism, it can lead to physical illness, mental fatigue, and emotional depletion. Since we are done on our discussion, so now let us proceed to the assessment part. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.